the Soshin motor, this thing can handle up to 35 kilowatts. That is seven times the power of a stock Suron. I didn't even, I couldn't put that in the, in the title because it would just sound like clickbait. Oh my God, that's heavy. Look at this thing, dude. Whoa, dude, it spins so freely. I should probably be really clear. Putting this motor in Ronald isn't gonna make him like seven times faster automatically. I come from a car background where the motor is the thing that makes the power. On a Suron, your controller is kind of the boss. Your battery, which isn't in there right now, that has all the power stored. And then the motor just kind of does whatever the controller tells it to. The problem is when you start running a bunch of power with an upgraded battery and an upgraded controller, you can actually uh, melt the motor. Like literally the pieces in this thing can melt. This is kind of a weird upgrade for me because I only run like six kilowatts. Why would I need like the world's craziest Suron motor for Ronald when we just do wheelies most of the time? What's that? Oh. I don't <laughs> where that goes. Oops. Oh shit. This is the stock Suron motor. This, God, this thing is heavy. Ow. That is a Soshin. That is a good, what, inch thicker? This seems to weigh, oh my God. This is probably three quarters the weight of this, if I had to guess. It should be able to generate more torque at the same amount of power. The other reasons I wanna run this, even if I'm not running a ton of power, one, I will run a ton of power pretty soon. I'm gonna be testing this with a stock battery in this video. I might have something in the works pretty soon. So the other reason that I would want this without running a ton of power is it's supposed to be crazy smooth. Look at how the stock motor turns. It takes a lot of effort. It's like chunky. You can feel that when you ride the bike at low speeds. It's really kind of like but this, check this out. Oh my God. I'm started jumping, what a day. Swear to God I need it, now I can't afford to wait. I just had a fan hit me up from Kuwait. Okay, low gang. Soshin motor is in. Wait, let me see it from the other side. <laughs> It looks so good. The dark gray looks so sick. Last night, I had a support call with GLE. They updated the firmware so that it could talk to this motor. It feels, I haven't done a pull yet, but it feels different already. So this motor is an encoder motor. Doesn't really matter what that means. I just needed to tell the controller that it needs to talk differently with the motor. I think the motor also can be run as a hall sensor motor, which is kind of sick. First impressions, super smooth. It also sounds a little different. It sounds like a pod racer, dude. I have all the exact same settings. Stock battery, six kilowatts, 430 phase amps, and I think 10% field weakening. Doesn't matter what that means. Let's just see how it feels. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Even on really low power settings. Hold on, let me do that again. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus. It's official. It rips. On the exact same settings, it feels like Oh, like, like meteor. Uh, I take that back. It feels stronger all the way through and it keeps pulling. Stock motor kind of like runs out of juice and doesn't give you a bunch of torque down low. This is way more torque. Holy shit. Enough talk. Let's see how it wheelies. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, that comes up so much easier. Wow. Can't really feel the extra weight, honestly. Whoa. Wow, when you're already going kind of fast and you hit the throttle, it like punches you. Like you can feel the torque. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> that was almost bad. Woo! <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Dude. Straight up almost just got beheaded. The one place I'm worried about the extra weight is gonna be in dirt and uh, jumping. So we came to the abandoned mountain bike park. I love the playfulness and like flickability of a Suron. And I'm nervous that a bunch of weight down here is gonna kind of change the characteristic of the bike. Only one way to find out, I guess. Woo! Oh! Okay, just those first two little jumps. Feels nice, actually. Like, it feels like a good balance. I, you know, I can feel a little bit of a difference. Whoa, dude, it rips up the hill. <laughs> the difference on the street, definitely noticeable. On the dirt, dude, it's a different ball game. And again, the whole point of the motor is to run a ton of power, and I'm not even running a ton of power. This thing is a beast, man. The bike does feel like it wants to, uh, Come down nose first a little bit more. Whoa, uh oh, oh, I'm on the wrong, uh oh. 
Oh no. I hit the wrong line. I don't know where anything is. <laughs> it really wants to break traction. I'm not used to it yet. This is line I meant to hit. Couch in the way. It's official. Social motor is sick, man. Yeah, look how easy that comes out, dude. But there are a couple things about it that just, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna do a little test. I'm gonna go a speed where I normally am not able to start a wheelie. If you have a Suron, you know, starting a wheelie at pretty high speeds is difficult because you don't have a clutch to help you pop the front end. I'm probably going like 28-ish right now. Oh, not a problem. Wow. <laughs> That's such a big difference. And at the same power level, too. The only thing that changes is a motor. Okay, I'm gonna go even faster, see if I can do it. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> we're gonna need a we're gonna need a battery for that one. Oh I stand corrected, dude! Wow, what the hell? I thought for sure that was not gonna work. But we still need a battery to make full use of this thing. I guess, you know, you're gonna have to hit that subscribe button. By the way, huge shout out to GLE. They're not sponsoring this video or anything like that. They're not even gonna see it before I post it. They just sent me the motor and they're like, here, try it out. There are a number of sellers that sell the Socha motor right now. GLE includes a bunch of support and stuff like that. I think you can get some money off. They give me a discount code. I'm gonna put, I don't remember what it is. I'll put it on the screen, but that'll save you some money if you are gonna get this stuff. But don't necessarily buy it yet, because I. I think this motor will be good for some people and maybe not necessary for other people. Dude, listen to this sound. It sounds like a pod racer or maybe like a turkey. Okay, a week later, is the Socian motor worth it? Uh, I think it depends. If GLE hadn't sent me this motor, would I have spent my money on it? 100% honestly, probably not before a battery. Knowing what I know now, though, I don't think... How do I put this? I don't think I'll want to ever build a bike without this motor. I've ridden uh, this motor in, on one bike that had an upgraded battery. It's bonkers, dude. If you have an upgraded battery, 100,000%, you yes, you should get it. If you don't have an upgraded battery, don't fall. If you don't have an upgraded battery yet, I think it's just a matter of what you're looking for. Like if you're not gonna run that much more than stock power and you just care about torque and like maybe throttle control, totally legit thing you could do. Stock battery, upgraded controller, social motor. Obviously this is a ton cheaper than a battery, so that's something to consider. I just think you'll probably enjoy it so much more with an upgraded battery. If you're considering this motor, I hope this video was helpful. If you do plan to buy it, you can save a little bit of money if you want. You can use my code. I'll have that down in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.